also picked up that information that the Bank of Ghana has given strict orders to commercial banks to uh, ensure that they do not uh, supply dollars to uh, people who import rice, poultry, uh, ceramic products, tires, uh, ceramic products, toothpick, water, and the like. That's what we have picked up. And for me, as a development economist, as an expert in the industry, as a consultant, as a researcher over the past over 20 years, I would say that on the face value, it is a very good policy in the sense that we are in very difficult and critical times. Indeed, even we are not even difficult and critical times uh, it, uh, to promote local production or to promote the consumption of local, uh, locally produced foods is a very good thing. No country and no family can continue to rely on outside uh, supply. So for me, in terms of economics, that is right. But I would say that the timing is wrong. I would say that the, 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 the decision is not, it is not, has not been formulated based on great information. What I know on the ground, and I do a lot, a lot, a lot of research. I speak to farmers daily. I speak to maize farmers. I speak to uh, poultry producers. I, I am on various business platforms, and so I know what is happening. So I would say that for me, if they were to talk about we are restricting the importation of water, that makes, that makes sense. That for me, yes, all of us from time to time, I have imported water to my house to drink, but I don't think that it makes any lot of sense to bring in water from another country. It's just, uh, it doesn't make sense. Mm. In terms of tiles, in my research, I know we produce a lot of tiles in the country. Toothpick, pasta, and the like, you can restrict that. But you cannot clearly classify rice, poultry, and veg vegetable oil or general cooking oil as non what, what, what's non your fear? What's your fear generally? Uh, that we're not sufficient? Is, is that the argument you're making? The argument is that clearly we have not prepared for this as a country. And that is a fact. You have Joy, Joy FM in the last week. You ran a story, you ran stories, and I clearly listened to it where the uh, president of the Ghana Rice the Professional Body, I, I was the president of that body for the, I think for four years. I listened to him and I was very interested in the story. And the man lamented the same story that I was. I talked about and lamented about when I was the president in 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, that the industry lacks support, it lacks government support. I again also listened uh, to the president of the, or the chairman of the Ghana Poultry Producers Association. And he said on your station that if the government doesn't take care, the 2% that local, uh, we are producing locally will eventually collapse and we, it will be that we will be imported 100%. If these people just spoke last week, and also my checks on the ground, I have a very one of the executives and a big poultry producer just by me. They returned from Morocco. And indeed, he gave me a story that was quite embarrassing. He said, in fact, the Moroccan government at the point in their meeting asked the president that, what is the total consumption of poultry in Ghana? And the president couldn't answer, not due to no fault of it. An individual doesn't do census. So as we speak now, my brother, we don't know how many goats we have in this country. Mm. We don't know how many fowls we produce in this country. We don't know how many fowls or whatever we produce in this country. 